Hey everybody, we are going to be testing this little pen tester. Now, I picked it up pretty cheap, a few bucks. And here's what I like about it. You have the auto option, which auto me does not just mean automotive, it means that it automatically picks. So, we can come over here, and I've used it already um, for a couple days to play around with electricity to see how good it works. It reads your voltage. You're like this. Now, what's cool about this one is this one does AC and DC. Now, we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to the receptacle. Now, I have not changed the settings. And... You go over here and try and pull the camera and do this all in one shot. But there you go, let's read that. Then you can go over here, hit this. That tells you that circuit's live. This thing is a cool little meter. Um, I've done testing on it with my other meters, and it's accurate. It has a bunch of different settings on it. It does have a um, hold light uh, button here. You can light it up. You do got to put batteries into it. It takes two AAA. It gives you a little paper here with different things that it does do. And let me get you on the stand here. I know the camera's all over the place today, but sometimes it has to be. And we will go over what some of the things it does do. All righty. AC, DC, which we knew. Um... see here and we are just looking at it real quick it does ohm resistance um diode diode testing then it does your voltage um has a flashlight also um so there's a bunch of little cool little features of this. I don't know if it even has a brand onto it. Smart pen multimeter. Pros and cons throughout the bat. Well, you can take out the tip for maybe an extra, which is a plus. It does have caps for both of them. Um, I wish it had a way to fasten the wire here but the wire does come off so that's not so bad um, but still would be nice if there was a little clip here to put this on here in the back does uh, max 600 volts it feels cheap in the hand it does have a little pocket piece I don't think this was much. I don't think it was. I don't even know if it was ten dollars. I'd be honest with you. I will look it up. Um, I will post the link in it. It's Nang N E N G A three zero zero five. Has auto power off. Point. The ohms between zero point one through forty. It does 0 0.8 through 600 volts. And looks like it does sound ohms, also, sound readings also 0 0.1 to uh, 50 hertz. So I suppose it does a lot. It's a cool little meter. I think this will be a great meter for your vehicle. 
um, it's that compact. This would be a great meter for somebody who does um, HVAC, um, in the residential HVAC. And the reason why I say that is because with HVAC systems, you know, you have to read AC and DC. And sometimes it's really hard to get your big meter um, in an HVAC unit and hold two leads and plus look at the meter at the same time with this, your meter is on your pen and you just connect it where you need to be. Um, for strictly automotive, it's small and compact and it works. But this is something that's great for AC and DC. Um, unless you got in a, an inverter in your vehicle, then uh, it's kind of limited, I guess. But it is a cool little tool for the few bucks it is. Definitely probably 100% China. Um, but like I said, I'll post a link down below. Like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, good or bad. Tell me what you're thinking. Am I doing all right for you guys? Let me know what else you'd like to see. Uh, how long this will last, I don't know. Like I said, it, it does feel a little cheesy in the plastic. Uh, would I drop this on concrete and expect it to survive? Well, a couple times maybe. If they did put a little rubber case around this thing, it would be a lot better. It would give more shock resistance. And I think it would make it so much, you know, a, a slip case would be awesome, I think. And, but for $10 or less, whatever it was, I guess we can't expect much as long as it works. And it does work. But later, folks, have a great day.